I'm Sabal Sadiq and you're watching this on Papai 2013. So first, I'll drag our outfit, then hit delete to get a blank slide. Done. Then I'll get a picture. I'll go to insert, then I'll hit pictures and I'll double click on this picture so that I can get this picture. If you want this exact picture for practicing, you can get the download link in the description box below. Now I'll just put it right over here and stretch it to the screen so that it fits the screen. Done. Then what I will do is I'll get a new slide, a blank slide. To get a insert box, I'll go to insert, I'll go to word art and pick this. I have a text box and I'll type something like explore. Alright, I've typed it. Then what I will do is drag over all of it. Then go to home and change the font to Hevitas. If you want this font, the link is in the description box. You can download it from free. Then what I will do is drag over all of it and increase the font size. I'll crank it up to 199. Then I'll hit on S to get rid of the shell. And I'll put it right in the middle. Done. If you go to format and if you go to align, you'll have two options. Align middle, align center. Click on them both. Done. So it's perfectly in the middle. Now what I will do is go to insert, go to shape and pick a rectangle over here and drag it all over the screen. So the, ex the covers, they explode. I'll go to shape outline, no outline. And holding on control shift, I might increase the size a bit like that. Then I'll right click on it and send it to back. So you can see there's a rectangle and the word explode. What I'll do next is drag over all of it, then go to merge shapes and subtract. So now we have a shape that has explore holes in it. You can see through the explore thing. Now what I will do is click on it, press Ctrl C or right click on it and copy it. Then go to this picture and paste it. Use destination thing. Done. Then you can see through the picture and I will go to shape fill and make it white. Now you can see through the picture entirely. Now if you want to adjust the size, you can minimize the thing. I'm going to change the color. You can minimize the thing to make sure you can see through the thing you want. Alright. So there you have it. Our tutorial is done. Now if you want to go a bit further, you can do something else. I'm going to delete this slide and get a new slide. I'm going to click on new slide and click this blank. So I have a new slide. What I'm going to do is go to insert and word it and click on A and I'll type the same thing. I'll type explore. This time I'll do the same effects again. I'll crank it up to 199 and I'll make it heavy us font which you have the download link in the YouTube description. Then I'll drag over all of it. Hit on S to get rid of the shadows. Then I'll drag over all of it and I have this button clicked and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. So I have duplicates. Then what I will do is put them right on top of each other just like this perfect fit then i'll drag over this two go to format merge shapes and union them together what i have now is a shape i don't have a text i have a shape now i can do effects on the shape i'll go to this option over here form a shape and the window will pop up like this i'll go to fill i'll go to picture or texture fill and as you can see there's a texture given if you want to put an image in it go to file and pick your file, double click on it, and you have a file inside your text. That's how you put a text inside, or maybe a picture inside your text. Now, one thing to be noted is, go to insert, if I put the same image, and right click on it and send it to back, you will see the image is very stretched. Like, it's really like this. It's been squeezed to fit the text like this right now what you can do about it is go to this option again and offset if you offset it you can fit it exactly where you want it you can offset it in many dimensions you have all the dimension to make it fit with your text and this fits quite nice I'm gonna keep it like that um, and that's how you put image on your text on PowerPoint. Thanks for watching.